All right, thank you, Sharon. Now, moving on, Commissioner Irene Masit of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, on Thursday, December 8th, rebutted reports that she had resigned from her role through her lawyer, Donald Kip Coril Masit, filed a petition at the High Court challenging her suspension and the impeachment motion against her. The statement from the embattled commissioner came amid increased pressure from various quarters anticipating her resignation. Our very own Chebet Kerim brings us that story. Suspended Electoral Commissioner Irene Masit has moved to court to challenge her removal. Masit is among the four independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission REBC officials who were suspended by President William Ruto pending a probe into their conduct following August 9th presidential election fiasco. How do you want to remove commissioners on account of Chebukati? Parliament's Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs recommended that she and three other commissioners be probed. Masit through lawyer Donald Kipkorir wants the court to reinstate her and also block any plans for her replacement at the REBC. I'm here on behalf of... She further wants all her privileges that have been withdrawn reinstated. In the urgent application, Masit wants Justice Agri Muchelu tribunal stopped from commencing the probe. Masit also wants the court to temporarily suspend the effects of Gazette notice dated December 2nd, suspending her and her fellow commissioners pending investigations by a tribunal them to probe their conduct. In her court documents, the suspended commissioner wants the court to quash the report by DCGA led to parliament to remove her as commissioner. The petitioner claims that the four petitions by the Republican Liberty Party, Reverend David N. Nthumbi, Geoffrey Langat, and Award Steve Jerry, filed before the Parliamentary Committee have no constitutional, statutory, and legal substratum. Before he addresses the committee, we need to know whether we are properly constituted, because what they cited is that we lack jurisdiction. I'm not going to raise any issue of jurisdiction further. She argues that the National Assembly, DCGLA, Gitonga Muragara, and the Muchelule Tribunal acted with bias and without impartiality. Masit adds that the proceedings were in open contempt of the Constitution and the cited statutes and law. She claims the impound proceedings violated the Supreme Court decision in presidential petition and the respondent exercised its referral or repository judicial power in bad faith, bias and in process tainted with bias and improper purpose. In her affidavit, Masid claims that on December 1st, as the DCGLA presented its report to Parliament, the REBC gave them a memo that they were to start a review of the 2022 general election in December 4th. On December 2nd, the said Gazette notice was issued establishing a tribunal for her removal as REBC commissioner. She said the Gazette notice and REBC internal memo were concurrent in not by chance, but deliberately calculated to lock her out of participating in the REBC commission reviews of the 2022 general election. Three commissioners, Vice Chairperson Juliana Cherera, Justice Nyangaya and Francis Wanderi have already resigned. For Masha Prime, Masha Television, I'm Rita Chibet Kering.